Have you ever seen a star so bright that it outshines all the other stars in its galaxy? How about a star so large that it could fit hundreds of suns inside it? Or a star so strange that it could be pointing to a hidden clump of dark matter in the sky? Well, believe it or not, such stars exist. And they have names, Mothra and Godzilla. These are two of the most extreme and rare stars ever discovered by astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope. And they are not alone. They are part of a new class of stars called Kaiju stars, after the giant monsters from Japanese movies. These stars are so extraordinary that they challenge our understanding of the universe. In this video, we will explore how these Kaiju stars were found, what their properties are, and how they could reveal some of the secrets of the universe. One of the most extreme and rare stars ever discovered by astronomers is Mothra. It was found by the James Webb Space Telescope, which has opened a new window to the universe. The telescope has allowed astronomers to find and study two of the most extraordinary stars ever seen, which could be pointing to clumps of dark matter in the sky. This star is located in a region of space that is magnified by the gravity of a galaxy cluster called Max J0416. 2403. This cluster acts as a natural lens that amplifies its light by about 2,000 times, making it visible to the James Webb Space Telescope. This phenomenon is called gravitational lensing, and it was predicted by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. Gravitational lensing is one of the ways that astronomers can study dark matter, which is a mysterious substance that makes up most of the matter in the universe, but cannot be seen directly. Mothra is not just bright, it is also very large and very strange. It has a radius of about 200 times that of our Sun, making it one of the largest stars ever observed. It belongs to a rare type of stars called red supergiants, which are very massive and luminous stars that have expanded to enormous sizes. However, this star is even more extreme than most red supergiants because it has a very low surface gravity and a very high surface temperature. These features make it very unstable and prone to losing mass through powerful winds. This star is so unusual that astronomers think it could be pointing to something else in the sky, a clump of dark matter. Dark matter could be enhancing the gravitational lensing effect of the galaxy cluster, making it appear brighter and larger than it really is. Alternatively, dark matter could be interacting with its host galaxy, triggering star formation and creating an environment that favors the formation of red supergiants. However, both scenarios are very speculative and require more data and analysis to be confirmed. This star is also very challenging to study because it is affected by dust and gas in its surroundings, which can obscure its true nature. To overcome this problem, astronomers have used different wavelengths of light to observe it, such as infrared, optical, and ultraviolet. By combining these observations, they have been able to reveal some of its secrets but Mothra is not the only kaiju star in the sky. There's another one, even more impressive, Godzilla. Godzilla is another star that was discovered by the same team of researchers using the James Webb Space Telescope. It is located in a different region of space that is also magnified by the gravity of another galaxy cluster called Max J. 1,149 plus 2,223. This cluster acts as a natural lens that amplifies the light from Godzilla by about 4,000 times, making it visible to the James Webb Space Telescope. This star is even brighter than Mothra, making it one of the brightest stars ever observed in the universe. It has a radius of about 300 times that of our Sun, making it one of the largest stars ever observed. It belongs to another rare type of stars called blue supergiants, which are very massive and luminous stars that have very high surface temperatures and very strong winds. However, this star is also more extreme than most blue supergiants because it has a very high surface gravity and a very low metallicity. These features make it very stable and long-lived compared to other blue supergiants. Godzilla is also very unusual because it does not seem to have any companion stars or planets around it which is uncommon for such massive stars. It could also be related to dark matter in some way, but it is not clear how or why. It could be part of the same host galaxy as Mothra or a different one, but it is hard to tell because both stars are very far away and their distances are uncertain. 
It could also be influenced by the same clump of dark matter as Mothra or a different one. But it is hard to tell because both stars are very bright and their lensing effects are complex. To understand this star better, astronomers have also used different wavelengths of light to observe it, such as infrared, optical, and ultraviolet. By comparing these observations, they have been able to uncover some of its mysteries. But what do these stars mean for our understanding of dark matter and the evolution of stars? The discovery of Mothra and Godzilla is a remarkable achievement for the James Webb Space Telescope, which has opened a new window to the universe. The telescope has allowed astronomers to find and study two of the most extraordinary stars ever seen, which could be pointing to clumps of dark matter in the sky. Dark matter is one of the biggest puzzles in modern physics. Dark matter makes up about 85% of the matter in the universe, but we still don't know what it is made of or how it behaves. By studying how dark matter affects the light from these stars, astronomers can test different theories and models of dark matter and constrain its properties and distribution. For example, they can measure how much dark matter there is in the galaxy clusters that act as lenses, how clumpy or smooth it is, and how it interacts with normal matter and itself. They can also look for any signs of dark matter annihilation or decay, which could produce gamma rays or other particles that could be detected by other telescopes. These stars are also a valuable source of information for astronomers to understand the formation and evolution of stars, especially the rare and extreme types of stars like red supergiants and blue supergiants. These stars are very important for the chemical enrichment and feedback processes in galaxies because they produce and disperse heavy elements and energy through nuclear fusion and supernova explosions. By studying how these stars were born, how they live, and how they die, astronomers can improve their knowledge and predictions of stellar evolution and feedback. For example, they can determine how massive these stars are, how long they last, how much mass they lose through winds, how they affect their surroundings, and what kind of supernovae they produce. However, the discovery of these stars also comes with some limitations and challenges that need to be overcome. One limitation is that these stars are only two examples of rare stars that could be related to dark matter, so they may not be representative or generalizable to other cases. Another limitation is that these stars are very complex objects that are affected by many factors besides dark matter, such as dust, gas, lensing, metallicity, winds, etc. So it is difficult to isolate and measure their intrinsic properties. A challenge is that these stars are very distant objects that require very high resolution observations to be resolved and analyzed, which are not easy to obtain with current instruments. Another challenge is that these stars are very dynamic objects that change over time, so they need to be monitored and followed up with multiple observations at different wavelengths and epochs. Therefore, more data and research are needed to confirm and refine the findings about these stars. Fortunately, the James Webb Space Telescope will continue to observe these stars in the future, along with other telescopes on Earth and in space. The telescope will also search for more kaiju stars in the sky, which could reveal more secrets of the universe. We hope you have enjoyed this video about Mothra and Godzilla, two amazing stars that could reveal some of the secrets of the universe. Remember, Sometimes reality is stranger than fiction. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to check out our website at nasaspacenews.com for more updates on the latest news. See you next time.